Alright, so we got this guy, a little six shot 22 revolver. Indexes on that bottom cylinder, so it can fire the top one. And if you look in there, that is pretty tight spacing. It's not enough room to put 22 mag in there. So I think what I'll do is I'll make one, two, three, four cylinders uh, so they can index top and bottom the same as this one. But uh, it'll leave me enough room to put 22 mag in it. Just for the hell of it. I don't have any good reason to do it. Just uh, don't see any reason not to. So to start out, we need a section turned down to, what is that, 890 uh, from a bar somewhere around 110. By the time we uh, knurl it, should, uh, should be good. Should be pretty easy, really. Time consuming, I don't think it'll be hard. Yeah. So, Mystery Steel. Three dollars. Some scrap pile somewhere, probably. Yeah, I think that'll do it. it doesn't really matter what it is. Steel's probably better, but uh, I'm gonna put a liner in it anyway. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'll rifle it. So that should be enough to do two, but primarily it's enough to hold it while I work on one and get a good solid firm grip on that for the knurling. Not sure order operations yet. We'll figure it out. I guess the right start. Smoke rolling. Still smoking. Pretty close. So that's not focusing. So that's definitely better. Um, you can still see it shows up more on the camera that it's trying to double cut just a little bit. Uh, it's being forced back down in there. So I'll uh, clean it up and give her another go. Yeah, if I could get that to focus, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I realize the right side there's kind of ugly. I'm gonna chamfer that and I figured I'd cut back into it just a little more anyway. Honestly, with this setup, that's probably the best I can do. And uh, in reality, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. Okay, so I got a slate chamfer on that side. I'll go in and start the parting operation. Do my chamfer. You know what? I can flip it around, dude. Chamfer. Man. Decisions, decisions. Whatever. So far, I'm liking it. The parting operation that's gone fairly well so far.
That's it. All right. Um, so that's all four holes drilled. I still need to ream it and then chamber it. And I'll push those rifling buttons through. Okay, here we go. So this is going to be reaming the bore. Nice and slowly. Looks like we're all the way through. Yeah. Should be good. All right, three more to do. Nope, I woke up, got to work. And then I was excited to try snowboarding. Because uh, we have, finally have snow, but there's no base, so it just sinks into the grass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it is what it is. And then I basically just slept a little bit and then still had to work. But uh, we're here. So we're just pressing the buttons. Yo, I am a uh, you back and out of the. Alright, we're out of there. Just loosen this up, set it down. Haha. <laughs> so you can see I kind of uh, rough chambered with a bigger ream. Whoa a blow out there but looks like they came through pretty straight and squared out so yeah nice we'll clean that up a little bit actually get a chamber ream in there and then push a rifling button through it all right just uh i think i finished the last one what is there no i didn't turn it in the lathe I just uh, use that to hold it with a little bit of give. Yep, we're good. And we're good. Nice. Okay, so a little bit of blast for blast. Come on, focus. What do you think? Is it going to work? Oh, snap. Look at that. Well, you'd look at it if it was focused, huh? Hell yeah. Nice. All right, get to rifling. There's a rifling button. Jam that down through the cylinder with a little bit of grease on it. Using one of these pins and a hydraulic press. And uh, you can imagine as it pushes its way down in there, it'll twist a little bit and create the rifling. And we're only making about a inch or so of rifling in this barrel, but it'll be just fine. I'll just do it four times. A little bit of grease on there. The guide goes in first, so it uh, keeps the actual rifling button square and straight in there. Make sure I got that pin as straight and square as possible. like it's trying to kick just a little bit. I'll give it a little bit of help there. Let's see what we can do. So I'll run a little bit by hand first. Yeah, I'm going right in there. I can feel it tightening up just a little bit. And going through pretty smooth, huh? And I think that pin is just long enough that as soon as it drops all the way in or through, We'll be right at the bottom anyway. Yep. All the way through. So, that pin went all the way through there, and the button is in here, so. Should be good. We'll uh, do that a few more times and see what kind of rifling we ended up with. Yep. 
get a clear view of some rifling here. Not so well. Well, you can see a little bit there if I could get it to focus. There we go. So you can see rifling in all four of those cylinders. Nice. Yeah. I don't know if it'll be accurate. But, uh, you know, I mean, you're only talking like an inch long barrel past the, uh, or actual inch of rifling. So, that ain't much, but, yeah. You can see rifling in all of them. So, we got to clean up a little bit and uh, fire it. doesn't work great. We'll get there though. <laughs> there was actual fire blowing out, I think. Yeah, a little over pressured for 22 mag maybe, huh? out too much. I can't even close it. That's the problem. All right, well, pop one out. Let's see, uh, see if the next one's any better. Yep, that's why. It's getting blown back into that little breech block. Okay, well, if we run that around to the next one, can we close this one? Now, if we force it, it's closed. And we're on the next one. <laughs> huh. That is really tight. 
All right, we'll pop out another one. All right, we got our index on that one. All right, safety off. Yeah, yeah, we got a little problem with some uh, brass blowing back into. I don't know if you can really see that on camera. It's blowing back into this wide open breach. That's a terrible design. Maybe I'll have to flip the safety up to get that. Maybe I'll have to uh, redo that breach block, huh? I don't know. We'll see. I might just make another whole gun just to use that 22 mag cylinder. Cool. Well, not a complete success, but it sure works. Well, I hate these guns. There. Cool. Alright, we'll fire some 22 rifle. Uh, 22 mag cylinder. See how those go. I'm guessing split a case maybe and not have a lot of power. Well, we can still index it. Yeah. Get that up a little so you can see some flash. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, those don't blow back like the uh, the mags do it all. <laughs> cool. Do they, do they stick? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. No one looking out. Yep, let's put a case even. Look at that. That one didn't split, but you can tell it bulged. A little split in that one. Yeah, I don't think it hurt anything though. Cool. So I'm sifting through this trying to find uh you know if I can find one of these ones that was fired from that 22 mag to see we got any kind of rifling on it at all. Um, it's been a while, I guess, since I've cleaned this out. It's kind of entertaining, really. Um, what the hell is that? That's a broken firing pin from an FGC-9. Um, yeah. What a mess. But, uh, you can see lots of cool stuff in there. So there, that's probably one right there. There's hardly any damage done to that thing. God damn, you can see rifling in it though. Real good too. Uh, I hope that's one. There's another one. I can see rifling, I don't know if you can on the camera yet. There's another one. Well, if I find five of these, that ain't it. I'm pretty sure that's what they're gonna look like. There's four. And I don't see any more. Cool. There's all these 22 casings in here that got blasted. Um, yeah, I need a uh, legit bullet trap. That might be next week's video. I think I got a line on some tubing to make a trap. Cool. Alright, let's take a look at these guys though. So. Yeah, you can freaking see the rifling on camera. And you can tell, so they don't, they're not deformed at all, so if I grab, I mean, here's a, here's a regular 22. You can see how it's fairly deformed from a rifle. I'm pretty sure this one's a 22 mag fired from a rifle. I had a 1022 magnum in here a little while ago I was working on. That one mushroomed out a lot, but you can see the copper jacket on the backside. Uh, 22 mags are copper jacketed. Uh, these are those uh, lead free bullets and they all have legitimate rifling on them that is awesome 
Cool. So here's our new cylinder. You can see the rifling in there that we made with a rifling button. You can see that wore just a little bit of that titanium coating off of there. Here's another one of a different style. I didn't use that yet, so you can see it's a little brighter. But uh, yeah, push them through with these rods. And if you can see that guy's got rifling on it. Even on the side where it plowed the sand, you can still see some of that rifling through it. So yeah, seems to work.